to, you know, yeah, you can also say that about Prince is up there in that echelon. Spent so much time with Yoshi, so many hours on the game. And we're getting right into it. It's time for a lot of... <laughs> and Yoshi is so also heavy that a lot of his combos that also work on characters like Captain Falcon can be pretty detrimental to him. Ooh, but parry and armor change a lot, especially when both characters, you know, have it. Normally it's like a thing that can swing things in favor for Yoshi. But when both of them can do it, it adds a lot of interesting elements to these small, like, scrapping interactions. Because they both have to be ready for their opponent to parry, but they also have to be on deck to parry themselves as well. Yep. And I'm, I'm, uh, I believe that Yoshi's armor in J version breaks quite earlier uh, for a lot of moves. So this might be even harder for Prince as well, just based on how he's used to playing this matchup, the percents he's used to knowing whenever it's time to secure that kill, go for an armor break. Uh, Yoshi is going to have a lot more survivability in this game. And uh, Wizrobe has a lot more comfort in that regard. Prince keeping it competitive though. We got two socks apiece, only 40% on the red dino himself. Well, I was going to come give a little tip that these guys actually played each other in 2019 at uh, Inca Fest. Oh, I forgot Prince went to Inca Fest too. Wizard won the whole thing. Was he in winners when he won that tournament? Or did he have to? No, I think he had to reset to beat Alvin. Okay. Yeah, someone said in chat, Wizzy doesn't lose to Yoshi, but I, I remember watching them play before, and I was like, Prince keeps it close. This mic is off. I think you're good now. No, th this is on now too. Oh, if you, yeah, yeah. Oh, now you can hear me. Oh, I can. I hear thought you really were talking well. into that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these guys played at Inca Fest in 2019, and Wizrobe won. Wizrobe won the whole tournament, uh, but it was a very close set. Yeah, now Prince stole the percent lead back. Prince, I don't think has lost a match yet in this pool. Really. Yep. Wow, I've seen him play some tough opponents. I haven't got to watch sets. But. Yeah, and he's really kind of clutched him out. There you go. No jump there. I don't know if Wizzy knew that. He looked kind of disappointed at I the I wonder end. if we'll see a uh, wind cancel at all here. Yeah. <laughs> or the Raz technique, as the Japanese say. But, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, he actually, yeah. Prince actually used that. Well, in game one against CTG, he missed a wind cancel and lost because of it. I felt super <laughs> bad. But then he won game three with a wind cancel. Yeah, okay. And this matchup's interesting. It's almost like a rock, paper, scissors type thing with these down airs, you know, because you can also just armor through moves, but you can't armor through down air. Right. But and, and you, Yeah, and you can't. Yeah, yeah, so. I was at so the armor I was isn't, isn't an end-all be-all. <laughs> Look at that. I don't think he, I think he meant to turn around and do that down air instead of down smash there, but it worked out. I was talking about how it's really interesting with the small, like, scrapping interactions because this matchup, both of them are armor and both of them can parry. So, like, there's yeah. a lot you have to think Some about. Some of the best armorers and parriers in the game here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the little walk. He walks him forward. This is great stuff. Ooh, nice. okay. So, Ooh. and look at that, it turns around. So, here's another thing we'll see in the Yoshi Dittos when you're when they're trying to edge guard with the uh, the down B at the ledge. Oh, uh, look, there's the wispy cancel. We love to see it. Um, 
when when they're recovering with a down B though, like at higher percent, sometimes you can just uh, trade with a forward air. Okay. Just like you throw a forward air, and if you co make contact at all with that down B, they're done because they get turned around. Look at that parry. Oh. And he's smart to kind of space that up smash. Nice. Tries to. Uh, Tries to, he kind of reacted to that armor pretty quickly and threw out another back air. And getting caught during invincibility, bros, not able to fall, follow up. Oh. Damn, he had that uh, down air ready to go. Good tech chase with the up air. And here we go. Yeah. Like I said. Whoa, just it's, like it's that. A, I, I had a trouble picturing what you meant at first. There you go, yeah. So yeah. That's, that definitely happens. And I love when this happens and they, they end up staring at each other. Face off, yeah. I feel like you have to taunt when you come down. Yeah. And here we go, some silent spacing. Good parry oh, and catches catches no it. Good reaction, way. up smash. Whoa, yeah. Oh, no jump there either. Because he he almost kind of figured he would parry, right? Yeah. They're on that level now. And couldn't land on platform with that nair <laughs> and a quick break. And that was interesting. It almost gave him like a perfect land right out of the armor yeah. break. See, and it's a shame. I think if Prince knew that that weak back air was gonna hit, he w he wasn't. He wouldn't have uh, jumped away like he did. But you you have to respect the the parry. And look at that. It's, it's kind of like these rogue hits that you you have to anticipate at a certain point. Like how deep does the meta go? Yeah. You gotta anticipate the armor and then just kind of flutter away after. Such an interesting matchup. And we see the wind. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at that. That was such a beautiful little, like, wave dash step. I was going to ask, is there a term that the Yoshis use that isn't wave dash? Because I just want to always call it wave dash. Uh, although, when I was uh, talking to them, I when I said wave dash, like, uh, like let's say I messed up a wave dash or something like that, and yeah. I said it, and they both... They all repeated it afterwards, so they know what I was talking about. So yeah. at least they do either know that it, Wave Dash refers to that, and the grab, not going to kill, so there you go. It gets there. Prince. And at that point, when you have that like little damage, that forward air at the ledge uh, doesn't really isn't going to kill before you die. And that makes sense. 